Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is a day in the life. Now, in today's day in the life, I want to talk about promptness. Yes, being on time, or perhaps slightly early. Now, there's a concept. Uh, it has bothered me for a while. Um, I had a meeting with someone uh, a few weeks ago, and they were 40 minutes late. 40 minutes late. So I had a meeting with the same person about a week later, assured that they knew the time of the meeting. They insisted they could get to the meeting on time, not a problem, and they were a 25 minutes late. An improvement, definitely, but not promptness. Now, I don't see why it's that difficult for people to be on time. They have clocks, they may have a watch, they may have a wall clock, there are clocks on all the cell phones. Even the old cell phones that don't do anything but phone calls have a clock on them. So, you know, there's no reason that things can't be done on time. If you're in business, you have a calendar. Probably your email program has a calendar associated with it. Outlook does, Lotus Notes does. Uh, a lot of other smaller email packages even have calendars. The calendars can track your appointments. The calendars can warn you when your appointment's gonna happen, like 15 minutes before, 10 minutes before, five minutes before, an hour before, wherever you want it. Now, at work, we have a lot of meetings, a lot of meetings. And the ones I say I'm going to be able to attend, I'm always about four minutes early to each meeting. How do you do it, you ask? It's easy. I have the appointment warn me 15 minutes before, and then I have it warn me five minutes before. When the five minutes before warning comes up, I dismiss it, I go to the meeting. Because no meeting in my building or the building across the street are any more than five minutes away. So, be on time. Try it. You may like it. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV and a day in the life.